Hello my lovely friends, my name is Rose Wild if you don't know me already and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is part of a program that I've put together called 10 to Zen. So if you're here as part of that then welcome to day one. We're going to spend the next 10 weeks with just 10 minutes out of your day to prioritise you be it through movement, meditation, breath work, there'll be some sound, some dancing, journaling, lovely, lovely stuff, just to encourage you to keep prioritizing you through the winter months when it gets dark. No guilt, no excuses, literally just 10 minutes out of your day. A video will drop every single Monday on YouTube. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, let me know how it goes. And yeah, so welcome to day one. This is gonna be a move and groove practice. So a short yoga, kind of get into our body, get out of our head. So when you're ready, come and find a space. You don't need a mat. Just come and plant your feet on the floor. Close your eyes if you can, if it feels good, and just soften your knees. Nice, we're just gonna take an inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears. And then as you exhale, just drop them down away, palms facing forward, finding a mountain pose, Tadasana. Nice, and just spending a few moments to connect in with our breath. As you root down through the soles of the feet, connecting into the ground, take an inhale, just feeling it rise up through your body. And then parting the lips and just allow your exhale to escape. <sighs> Softening a little bit. Good, we'll place one hand on top of the other on your chest or on your heart. And just take a moment to notice, to feel your heartbeat in your chest. Lovely, then from here we're gonna interlace the fingers. Just press the palms down towards the floor. Keep the knees nice and soft still. And then we're gonna reach them forward. Keep reaching them all the way up to the sky. And then just have a little stretch with the arms past the head. You can draw the chin to the chest a little bit. Good, feel that full stretch in the shoulders, maybe the neck a little bit as well. Good, take an inhale in here. Think of lifting up and out of the feet. And then as you exhale, we're gonna sway over to the left side. Finding a little side stretch to sway the hips to the right. A lovely inhale brings you back to centre. Root down through the feet, lift up through the hands. And then as we exhale, up and over to the right. Good, sway the hips to the left. Beautiful, take an inhale, come back to centre. Exhale, hands are gonna come behind the head. Tilt the head back into the hands to open up the elbows. Good, big breath into the chest, cracking open the chest. And then as you exhale, draw the chin into the chest, elbows round to come to the middle. Good, you can soften the knees. Just make a nice curve of the spine here. Lovely, take an inhale to come back to center. And then we're gonna draw the left ear to left shoulder. Just bring the hand on top. We're pushing the right hand away from us at the same time. Nice conscious breath through the nose. Lovely, inhale, we come back to center. Hands come behind the head again, tilt the head back. And then exhale, come to the other side, right ear to right shoulder, push and guide the left shoulder away. Lovely, my friends, take one more inhale. Hands come back behind the head, tilt the head back. Big open of the chest and the shoulders. And then exhale, one last curve it all in, chin to chest, curling the shoulders round, elbows drawing to one another. You can really bend the knees this time. Curve the body over like a prawn. Beautiful, take an inhale to stand up nice and tall, reach the arms up. Good, as you soften the knees now, we're gonna open out to the right side. Right arm reaches back, left arm reaches forward. Nice, I want you to really imagine you're ripping the body apart. Good, inhale brings you back up to center, straighten the knees. And then exhale, open to the left. Left hand reaches back, right hand forward this time. 
good. Push into that left foot, guiding that left hip forward. Oh, big rip open of the body. Nice, take an inhale to reach up to the sky. Then we're gonna to start to draw the chin down to the chest, draw the hands down as we curl down through the spine, hanging over the legs. Good, keep the knees nice and soft for now. When you get to the bottom, just have a shake of the head to say no. Have a nod of the head to say yes. Ooh, lovely. Really nice. Plant the hands now, just walk them forward a little bit. We're gonna walk the feet back and then drop the knees to find a tabletop pose. Good, take an inhale, reach the right hand up to the sky. As we exhale, feed it through the gap on the other side, lower down to a thread the needle pose. Good, so right side of the body is lowered down towards the floor. Beautiful, press just back into that left hand, take an inhale, reach the right hand back up. And then exhale, floats down. Good, inhale, reach the left one up this time, expand across the chest. And then exhale to feed it under the other side, lower the left side down. See if you can swing those hips back to the left a little bit. Lovely, press into that right hand, bringing yourself up and open. And then left hand plants down. Ooh. Now start to push the hips back to the heels to find child's pose, untucking the toes. Nice, and have, just have a little wiggle with the hips from side to side. Reaching the hands out in front, draw the chin to the chest and then we're gonna curl, spinal wave our way all the way forward. Start to lower the hips down. Good, take a big shoulder roll when you get to the shoulders and then lower the stomach and the chest down to the mat. Fingertips are gonna come off to the side nice and wide, elbows come high. Start to press into the fingers and the feet as you raise the chest up any amount here. Good, shoulders relax at the top, maybe have a little shake of the head, make sure the shoulders are nice and soft. And then on your next exhale, just start to lower it down, head comes last. Shoo. Good, from here we're going to tuck the toes underneath, hands come under the shoulders. Start to push your way back and find that tabletop pose again. Lovely, we're going to step the right leg forward through the hands. Nice. When you're ready, take an inhale, reach up, find a low lunge pose. Tailbone is tucked under, nice and lengthened through the hip flexor. Good, as we exhale, we're gonna send the hips forward and down. Just draw the elbows down towards the floor, down to the sides a little bit. If the arms don't feel good here, you can interlace and place them on the thigh. If you wanna add a little bit of movement as you take an inhale, you can come back away from the front leg. And then as you exhale, just driving the hips forward, just nice and gently. Inhale brings you away. And then exhale brings you forward. Good, take one more if you've been adding a little movement. Nice, we're gonna take an inhale, come a little bit away. So keep a bend in that front knee if you can. And then we're gonna open out to the right side, same as we did stood up. Right hand is pulling back, left hand reaching forward. Good, see if you can keep that right hip, that right thigh in line. And then we're gonna to start to tilt our way forward. Left hand comes to find the floor. Right hand reaches up to the sky. Option here to tuck the back toe underneath and then raise the back knee off. Nice, push away from the floor. And then we're gonna plant the right hand down by the side of the foot, take a step back to plank. Good, drop the knees and then send the sit bones back to the heels, find a child's pose. Lovely, when you're ready, chin to chest, take that roll through to tabletop. And then we're gonna step the left foot through the hands. Good, use an inhale to lift up and rise, find that low lunge. 
Good, tailbone is lengthened. Again, you can bring the hands down if you want, but as you exhale, just sending the hips forward a little bit, just driving them forward and down. Option to stay here, have a wiggle, or inhale to come away. Exhale, send you forward and down. Oh yeah. Enjoy it, friends. Good, take one more if you're using that lovely movement. Beautiful, inhale brings you up and away. Good, keep a bend still in that front leg and then we're opening out to the left side. Belly button to spine, left hand pulling back, right hand reaching forward. Oh, imagine there was someone trying to pull you apart. Lovely, then start to rotate the right hand down to find the floor. Left hand reaches up, find that lovely twist. You can use the floor to push away from to make it even more advanced, even more yummy. Option, tuck the back toe underneath and raise the back knee off. Amazing, left hand plants down when you're ready. Take a big step back to plank. And then we're gonna to start to send the sit bones back. Find a moment in a downward facing dog. Good, and keep the knees super, super soft here. We're just sending the tailbone high. And then we're gonna walk the hands back to find the feet. Take the feet definitely wider than hips width apart this time. If you want, bend through the knees and just allow your body to hang in the gap. Have a good, good sway from side to side here. Oh yeah. If you want a little bit more, you can interlace the hands behind your back. Good, just use that to draw the shoulders away from the floor and then allow the hands to kind of fall away ahead of you. Lovely, my friends, release the hands if you had them behind you. Good, start to heel toe the feet in underneath the hips. Really soften through the knees. Again, we're gonna root through the floor, through the bottom of the feet. And then start to curl your way up through each vertebrae to stand. Chin to chest to allow the head to come last. Big roll of the shoulders when you get to the top. Oh, nice. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Lifting up and out of the floor. Exhale, release the hands, release it out of the mouth. Big sigh. Oh, nice. Take the last inhale, reach the hands up to the sky. Palms touch at the top. And then exhale, draw them down the center of the body. Place one hand on top of the other on your heart or your chest. Close your eyes. Feel that connection with the floor again through your feet. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw, and feel your heartbeat in your chest. I'm just taking a moment to notice how you feel. Perhaps a little different to when you stepped into the space. And then just bowing your head down, thanking yourself for spending this 10 minutes, just 10 minutes on you prioritizing your well-being, your health, your mind, body and soul and knowing that it only takes 10 minutes to make a difference. Thank you for completing day one of your 10 to Zen challenge my friends. I can't wait to see you next week for day two. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you're in the Facebook group then please share what you thought, everything, um, and let's keep connected, absolutely. Check the description below for lovely, lovely links for you. My monthly membership is on there. If you're not already a member, then head over and I hope to see you in one of the live classes there. That would be really, really lovely. And also discount codes on the wonderful Universal Performance Wear. 
<laughs> that I'm doing these videos with. Amazing, amazing. I've got a discount code, so head over there and grab your discount. But let's stay connected, go onto the Facebook group, comment, share it all. I can't wait for next week, which will be day two, my friends. Go wild and wonderful off into the rest of your day, the rest of your week. Remember, you can continue to do this same one every single morning when you wake up if it made you feel good. So yeah, love and loads and loads of light to you. Mwah. See you very soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, 10. Choose then. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs>